What's up, baby Gunners? Welcome back to the Arsenal and up. I hope you all are all doing great. We have top interesting exciting stories of Arsenal to share with you today as we get right into today's video. Congratulations to every Arsenal fan as of course we have Ricardo Calafuri finally here as an Arsenal player. Officially, these are official pictures. He is now with the club and of course his new physios, coaches, other medical staffs and of course other staffs in general working at Arsenal. He is happy to be here as you can hear in his interview and of course we are also happy to have him at the club finally. after few weeks now or even months of speculation and transfer saga going on around his future so guys finally we have Ricardo Calafuri announced as a national player yesterday and of course let's just give kudos to Edu Gaspar Ateta and of course the player also for choosing to join us and yes we can expect big things from Ricardo Calafuri so now the man in question here Ricardo Calafuri is an exciting one for us to have at Arsenal because even the announcements video if you can see Arsenal said yeah to make us stronger so definitely he's here to make us stronger in defense and of course the left back row the right back row the the center back central midfield anywhere at the top deems fit for him to play is going to show up because he is well built physically and of course mentally also he is very very strong so yes we have a really top player on our ends and of course you can't blame Manchester United fans, Chelsea fans, Liverpool fans of getting envious or getting jealous of Arsenal right now because they know how strong and capable for a squad or a team that had the best defense last season in the Premier League and one of the best in the world if not the best now adding another very very interesting defender to the squad now it's really interesting to know now where Atata really wants to play the Carlo Calafuri but there's one loophole in the defense last season that we could see though not too obvious but at the same time dead to be addressed and the return of Dwayne Timber by many was seen as the best solution and okay that seals it Dwayne is back we don't need to buy any defender but Atata is looking out of the box right now like okay I think I can bring in more quality to also compete with Gabriel Magales and also provide that depth we need in the defense line because even likes of Jacob Kiro Sichon Kuna have been linked with as it moves so if that happens then Asna will have no other option than to have a new defender so that is why even as we speak the future of Sichenko and Jacob Kiwa is still under question, even because the arrival of Duran Timba, just like a new signing, and um, the Kali Kalafuri means that those players, Sichenko and Kiwa, will move down the pecking order of our defense line. So that is where the situation is at the moment. So, guys, how is that are you from 1 to 10 about the arrival of Ricardo Kalafuri as a new Asna summer signing? What is really, really clear? In this case, is that Arsenal will surely be more solid in defense next season. Because after that, if you notice, ever since you know when he came into Arsenal, he said he has a four-phase plan, and he also mentioned that they are trying to like change, reorientate, rediscover, or try and, like bring up certain kind of mentality, you know, kind of way of play, kind of clear idea and identity kind of clear identity to the club so at some point people were like the major issue of Asta was that was defense let me say under Arsene Wenger we are a kind of team that kind of like have this attacking flair you know, attacking card player light with it and all you know we play this kind of football this brand of soccer that has to do with you know using the ball putting the ball position based game you know position based game and, and cool so when you look at it Definitely, the major issue then that made us keep finishing at top four was, as well as scoring, we are also considering lots. That's that said. So, Ateta came in. The nine minutes before Ateta also tried to put it all out because the kind of manager as I was looking for them was someone that would continue as a finger legacy. But as I was lucky during this time because 
uh, as, apart from the, the fact that he's a great manager he's a respected tactician he also you know had this era whereby some things just like to defend so when he's attacking of course that's not spoiler of goals and then we are able to skip through those games but in this case many things are not coming to understanding that right now that when we keep the ball more then there are more chances of us you know try and win these games off than when we are trying to play against a, a team that is probably better than us for example now no disrespect maybe it seems like um Burnley, who we all know or still say during the time of Asafenga, they centralize their play on defense so and long balls and crosses so when you look at that kind of team but they're trying to play against or set up against us now they will try and like play their defense and very very rigid and we all know them to be one of the best defensive outlet then in Premier League so now when they do that they give a team like Arsenal all the time to have the ball and play and that's why Wenger with you will see Arsene Wenger always like trying to like having possession and his team trying to score a lot of goals against those teams but now football has been revolutionized and a lot of things has changed and that's why we need a manager as Mikel Ateta at Arsenal that's why I have heard a lot of podcasts normal football podcasts you know people are discussing about Arsenal and everybody is saying yo you guys are really lucky to have Mikel Ateta as a manager and that's the truth because as as now I'm telling you as of now there is no better manager out there currently in Premier League apart from Pep Guardiola that is better than Mikel Ateta I'm telling you you can ask you can make a research and we will see no other man that fine is just coming to football. Yeah, I think it's barely five years right now. So, but his expertise, his quality from when he was even a player, his understanding of the game, you know, his broad view of the of football has helped his experiences, you know, from Asen Wenger to Pep Gadula to David Moyes. In fact, he has all the ingredients to be a top top manager, which of course we're all saying right now, because of course leading a team toe to toe with Manchester City back to back two seasons is no joke. We can ask um, Liverpool, Jordan Club. Some have not seen your club is running away from. You have seen that. Okay, I think my time is done in the Premier League, which is of course probably not true because even Club himself have admitted that he, he is just personally running low on energy and of course it feels she give somebody with a new energy and new drive the opportunity to lead Liverpool to a greater height. So, but. Annie Slot is back, or let's say he's being introduced right now as the Liverpool manager. And of course, we want to look out for Pep Guardiola, Ateta, and Annie Slot. Of course, we want to look out for these guys. But at the same time, it's almost a two-way race because Annie Slot is not going like come into the team and try and, like bring a new philosophy and expect it to just boom, Premier League title it's very very rare it happens but it's very very rare so i'm not backing in to do that because i'm an arsenal fan obviously and um i think we can all agree that premier league is the toughest league in the world so it's it's probably a very very slim in terms of chances for him to do that to put that off so we also what happened with um Posta Koglu, the manager of the team coming with his idea philosophy it worked for the first few games before the primary managers adapted to his playing style and of course the rest is issue you know what about the our our friends not good friends though so guys let's just say that basically we need a team well coached with a good manager i've watched this um amazon interview or let me say amazon documentary on ateta and asna and that stuff the process that were involved in his appointments you know the shortlist of candidates i think then we had um the director of football then raul sanieli who came from Baka to become a director of football and also the transfers of the likes of nicolas pepe and likes you know the visuals and co and when ateta came in egas also was the technical director they're not even supporting director that he is right now so he is heavily involved in the process of appointing Ateta and they said one of the key things they noticed about Ateta is that he has a clear vision and he has the, the passion also so uh, Edo said his ability to also be able to transmit this passion on the players on the field and it's really exemplary and 
the fact that he also is connected to the club and is, you can see straight away when he, when he became the manager of Arsenal he was able to connect the fans and the players again and I mean what more of a manager do you want so but this is not a Ateta appreciation show but guys let's give kudos to Mikateta because can I feel our new sign is also emphasizing the fact that Ateta was the one or the main factor that made him join the club so he said Jorginho yes Jorginho he met him just one month ago and well he's trying to tell him come on join come on join come on join us now but he said Ateta is the main reason that should tell you that Ateta is able to transmit his passion his vision to players and that's why we we are the last season I don't want anybody to get this wrong but Arsenal was the best in last season fine we flopped in some games and it was obvious though but the one that we know that okay yes this game was really off was a Stavula game and of course I mean it happens Manchester City also lost so it's not as if it's peculiar to Arsenal losing it's just the timing the timing and then we're unable to recover again because of of course Manchester City you know them when is the last games of the season they are off the pace so guys that's it we are so lucky to have this manager he's able to attract us now now have a model that is attracting many you know top players to the club so in, in a little later i'm going to talk about one man um trido martin but i'll do that in our next video yeah i'll discuss about him in our next video so but today what is the other latest Arsenal news we have for you today apart from the fact that Calafiori is not an Arsenal player? So guys, Emi Smith has left the Arsenal camp to Fulham. Yes, he has left for London where he is about to undergo his medical to become a new Fulham player. And I don't want to dwell on that much again, but we wish Emi Smith the best of luck as he becomes a new Fulham FC player. I've stated in my previous videos already that it's a good move for him, a good move for Arsenal to better move for him because he needs to move and have first team chances because he has waited and waited 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 for his chances which were now just coming by the likes of Vieira, Pate, Jorginho, everybody in the midfield you know other guard these chances are not coming for Emi Smith so it's good for him and wish him best of luck so guys we'll see and we'll talk more on all this in our next video so guys that will be the end of the Arsenal Roundup today don't forget to like share and subscribe if you are watching us from YouTube and also please follow like and also share this video guys please please and please share this video to reach more Arsenal fans so that we can also be encouraged to bring in Arsenal updates for you on this page on this channel we'd like to see you in our next video until then your boy is out